Okay, so hello folks, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be giving you my top five ways to kind of gain a little bit more market exposure to uh, cryptocurrency um, during this uh, week, the first week into, uh, you know, the assumed uh, presidency of Biden and Harris. We or I, I guess I should start the video with, um, you know, I'm not licensed. I, I th None of this represents anything other than my own personal ideas. And also, I urge you to rem uh, remain very cautious with anything relating to crypto, as right now it's kind of like it's it's going up a lot. And... I want to urge caution since generally there's ups and downs and right now it's going up so you don't want to do the, the FOMO or FOMO fear of missing out but we're seeing um, Bitcoin right now is currently going up quite a bit it's gaining a lot of traction especially since PayPal recently added it to you know PayPal anyone can buy, sell, or hold it on PayPal. Um, if you're wondering, like, oh my gosh, should I go, you know, max out all my credit cards, take out mortgages, on, or take out, uh, what's it, uh, loans on your house, or stuff like that? No, that's absolutely not what you want to do. I think I saw, I forget which, but there was a famous investor who had said, about 1% of your portfolio should be in, I think they said Bitcoin, but they might have meant crypto. But that's more what I'm talking about. But the point is, you know, you just want to be well diversified. I think crypto right now has a very good um, outlook. And I'm here to give you my top five favorite choices. First choice is, you know, get a very small amount of Bitcoin and just forget about it. And when I say small amount, I, I'm actually, I actually mean it. You don't want to go way overboard with this. It should represent a small portion of your portfolio and should also remain in the technology slash banks category. And when you're diversifying your portfolio, I think it's important for you to have, you know, like, you know, tech or banks, um, real estate, you know, foreign, et cetera. So don't just consider crypto to be another version of banks or something like that, it, that they are the same type of investment. So first, Bitcoin. Second, micro strategy is a, uh, it, it's just like a stock. It does sort of like, I think like IT or kind of just general cloud sort of computer stuff. But they also like purchased a, a 400 plus million dollar um, just batch of Bitcoin which they're just kind of sitting on. Third, I would say Riot Blockchain. I kind of am torn saying that because the company has gone from being a like absolutely rubbish company to where it's kind of like I almost want to say I'm starting to like them. Fourth, and so that's a that's their stock symbol in the U.S. for Canaan. They have uh, the Avalon uh, mining or Avalon miners. Uh, they're a very interesting company. Um, there was a bit of a scandal associated with them a couple of years ago, but they're still just kind of. It seems a very stable choice. And fifth, I would still say is Tezos, T, 
for XTZ, uh, which is similar to my recommendation for the number one category. If you get it, just get a small amount. And the main thing is just don't fall for hype. Right now, there's a ton of hype surrounding this. Um, I think people are kind of worried about devaluation of the US dollar. I don't think that's kind of going to happen. So I, I think if you want to join in with all of this rush into this area, you know, get a small amount, you know, one to maybe up to 5% or so of your portfolio, but don't do what happened during the last uh, sort of bubble, um, because right now everything's going up in the sort of crypto sphere. And there's going to come a point where, you know, when it gets above this point, people are going to be like, wow, we were being really stupid, and then everything's going to go down. So if you, if you buy some now, and I'm urging caution, it, you know, it you know, it might keep going up. But, and there's companies like MicroStrategy, which will make it more likely it'll keep going up because they're just taking a large chunk out of the sort of general circulation. But you got to remember that there are, I mean, potentially there's like a 35-year-old gamer who lives, I don't know, on the 40th floor of some apartment building in New York City who potentially has like a million, one million Bitcoin. Like, and if he's like, you know, it'd be cool to be a millionaire. He could just sell all of that. And it would just make, or it would basically mean your savings would all go to nothing. So anyways, uh, this is my sort of weekly uh, tip. Let me know in the comments if you like this video. I'll be happy to continue doing this. And yeah, I will see you all next time. Make sure to subscribe, like, and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.